Hello everyone, it is Michael once again, and we are doing a large sauropod migration. So the entire thing over this is that about five years ago, a park was abandoned, a testing facility for large sauropods, and these are all that remain. All these creatures must now migrate to the end point to survive. None of these animals have the water for days. If they do not make it, if they cannot go far enough, they will not survive. The herd continues to move as to avoid danger. Some large carnivores were left behind too. The only two species that are still living, the only two carnivore species that are still living here, are the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus. Both could easily take down all these sauropods. The dinosaurs seem to be confused. As of lately, the dinosaurs' water and holes have been drying up due to severe climate change. This Brachiosaurus seems to be leading the charge, and some seem to be following behind. And is that fall any of these sauropods that end up falling behind the herd will most likely die of one of the large carnivores. So the ones that are following behind will most likely be the survivors. Several members of the herd still seem to be quite confused, but now several more members are starting to follow behind. Although it seems that the Momenchisaur does not want to leave this place. He grew up here. He's not ready to leave it yet. But he'll have to if he wants to survive. The rest of the sauropods have began to move along. Slowly but surely. They move forward in the endless desert. This Brachiosaurus is still leading the charge, while the rest seem to be falling behind by a lot. The rest of the herd seems to have lost interest in continuing except for a few dinosaurs. Those who begin to fall behind, though, as said earlier, will not survive the night. And are the least likely to make it to the watering hole. Although it seems that the lead one has also been confused. As it becomes night, danger arises. And this male Brachiosaur immediately heads back toward the herd for safety in numbers. But as this male heads back, the rest of the herd begins to move forward. This even includes some dinosaurs that weren't following from before, such as the Dreadnoughtus, which continuously was going the other way. 
the herd is now continuing along. The male Bracky, as seen earlier, that was leading the herd, can now be seen sleeping. But the continue on. They never built a true emotional connection, unless it was their own species, such as how the uh, apatosaurs stick together most of the time. The Menchisaur will most likely die before he can make it here. It looks like the Dreadnoughtus is going back for everyone else. It is soon becoming morning, and most of these dinosaurs will not make it if they do not get up and start moving. When the night fell, they were lucky that no carnivores came to meet them. Unfortunately, it seems that more and more of the herd are, li are dying. It seems that this Camarasaur could very well be the last on this island. Let's hope he can at least make it. It seems that the journey is endless, and that they'll never find water. But this Camarasaur female will not give up. She is very determined to find this watering hole. So is the female Brachiosaur. She continues to move, even though her mate is starting to fall behind the herd. We'll soon catch up on the ones that have fallen behind and see how they're doing. But for now, we shall focus on the lead ones. It is now, um, it is now morning. The sun is shining, and the temperature is nearly 110 degrees. Due to this, most of the dinosaurs are now beginning to turn around to try and find a shaded area. But due to the lack of shade, and the sun rising into the sky, most likely, there will be no shade when noon hits. For now, this is the best time for them to move, because... At noon, the temperature will be breaking 130 degrees. It seems that only the Camarasaur and the Apatosaurs are still moving, while the rest of the herd has completely given up. It's been three days since this migration started, and nothing's been found so far. But as we can see, this female Camarasaur is continuing on even though she's in the blazing sun. As we can see, the male apatosaur has even began to get back up and follow along. The watering hole is just up ahead as well. Looks like this will be the first dinosaur to make it. Though the rest of the herd is slowly following. The female Camarasaur is not even within a mile of the watering hole, and she's beginning to rush toward it. Every single member of this herd needs water, basically today, or they will all die. This Camarasaur finding water has just given the entire herd hope that they can survive. Although with her being so far ahead, the herd may never know about this watering hole until it's too late. But it seems that the female Brachiosaur is not too far behind and will also reach the watering hole. Finally, the first member of the herd, the female Camarasaur, has made it to the watering hole. She most likely will take this time to drink and get a good sleep. But as the sun begins to set, looks like the herd is beginning to get off course. But it seems that the Brackies and Apatas have gotten themselves back on track. Unfortunately, it might be too late. This female Brackie may just make it to the watering hole before she dies. But her mate, the male, may not make it in time. It seems though that they are now running 
to make it to the watering hole. That way they don't die. As we can now see, officially the second member of the herd, the female Brachiosaur, has now made it to the watering hole. And now most of the herd now knows that there is, in fact, water for them to drink. Although the female Camarasaur still seems to be distressed after her mate did not follow along with the herd. So, as we can see, over half of the herd has made it to the watering hole, with the exception of the male Camarasaur, the Diplodocuses, the Dreadnoughtus, and the Mementi. They did not make it. We shall go see if they are on their way. As we continue to go back further and further from the main herd, we can see that the male Diplodocus is moving along just fine. This male, now believing that there might be potential for water, is now continuing to move, as he can see the rest of the herd just up ahead. He quickly walks through, but as nighttime falls, his vision continues to go down. He may have to stop and wait till morning. He will continue to go back to where we can see that the rest of the herd is slowly moving forward, which includes the Camarasaur, the Mementi, and the Dreadnoughtus. The female Diplodocus does not seem interested in the rest of the herd moving along. But the Mementi and Chimera continue. The Dreadnoughtus seems to stop in his tracks as he has completely lost vision. The other two seem to also slow down by a lot. Now well, let's go back to the lead members of the herd. It seems that the male Diplodocus has almost made it to the watering hole. He, has, he now has confirmation that there is in fact water for him and his mate to drink from. As he can see, from what he can see, the members have suddenly stopped around this large area. This now gives him confirmation that there is water. Soon it is morning. It is nearly dawn, and soon the sun will be out and shining. This is the perfect time for the herd to get a quick move on, That for the herd members that are falling behind to get a quick move. If they wait till it's noon, when the temperature will be breaking 130 degrees, they will most likely die of sunstroke or dehydration. But as the morning continues, the herd quickly continues on their journey, except for the male and the female Diplo. But soon, the male Chimera just stops. He's not sure if he'd be able to make it, as it's been the fourth day and he still hasn't drank anything. The Mementi and Dreadnoughtus continue to move, but it's much slower as the day continues to heat up. We're not sure if they will make it, but we'll go to the one who's fallen the farthest behind. The female Diplodocus has completely... She is back to where the herd originally began their migration. From an old watering hole that dried up days ago. She looks around, hoping to see any kind of water or something. She doesn't see any of it. Soon, she will die. The herd members in the middle that include the male Chimera, the Mementi, and the Dreadnoughtus continue to move. As they can see, the rest of the herd is just up ahead. The Dreadnoughtus male has been able to take the lead. Unfortunately, last year, his mate died, but he may be able to find another Dreadnoughtus there to mate with this year. The male Chimera continues on his journey, but he's slowed by the blazing sun. The temperatures have now reached 140 degrees. The entire herd here basically just stops. But soon, they continue on their journey. The Dreadnoughtus male, being a very dark color, 
is causing him to heat up more than the rest of the dinosaurs. As we can see, unfortunately, the Mementosaur has died of dehydration. It has just collapsed on the ground. Herds like this have been moving along here for weeks now. And they've been slowly getting picked off one by one by the heat or by the carnivores. As you can see here, this female Mementi was not lucky enough to make it there. But maybe the rest of the herd will. It seems that the male and female Camarasaurus have now been reunited as they are walking along together. But the Dreadnoughtus has turned around to look at his dead friend. He stands there and as the sun begins to set slowly, he decides to lay down and wait till night. All of a sudden though, the Dreadnoughtus gets up all of a sudden. Not sure why he did, but he did. It could be potentially because he's sleeping next to a dead dinosaur, which will be attracting the carnivores here. Now the Dreadnoughtus has lost interest in following the rest of the herd, and is now staying behind. If we continue back further and further, we'll see that the Diplodocus still has barely moved. Even if she ran at full pace at this point, she would not make it back in time. But all of a sudden she starts walking forward. Let's hope she makes it. It seems that in the further distance, the Dreadnoughtus has now gotten himself back on track and is slowly starting to move forward. We're not sure if he'll make it or not. He's been standing here for nearly a, a day, and he has not moved. He'll most likely die tomorrow if he does not get there now. As the moon begins to go away and the sun begins to rise, this will most likely be the final day of several members of the herd. As we can see, most of these dinosaurs have gotten their mates, such as the Camarasaurs, the Apatosaurs, and the Brachiosaurs. Fortunately for the Diplodocus, his mate has not followed. She is still very far behind. But all of a sudden, the male chimera begins to head back toward the Dreadnoughtus. It seems that he's trying to, to lead the Dreadnoughtus back to the herd. But the Dreadnoughtus has began to walk in the wrong direction. It's unfortunate, and he'll soon die. The female Diplo continues to go along slowly but surely. And I promise she'll most likely lose interest as she has no sight over the rest of the herd. She seems very distressed at this moment in time. It seems that she won't be able to make it back in time. It seems the same for the Dreadnoughtus male too. He just continues to wander in the same spot, seemingly distressed. He begins to walk in the wrong direction, and all hope is now lost for these two members. By the time it's noon, 
the Dreadnoughtus will be dead. Along with the female Diplodocus. Must I continue to make a run for it now? That's their only hope to make it. But the female Diplodocus seems determined now to keep moving. Unfortunately, it seems that neither of them will make it. As it is now nearly one o'clock and the temperatures are getting very hot. The female Diplodocus has now decided to lay down for the last time. Along with the male Dreadnoughtus. Both are laying down as they know they'll never make it even if they ran. It's sad. But this happens during dinosaur migrations. All of a sudden, though, the female Diplodocus gets up and she starts to walk, but collapses. And then she dies, along with the male Dreadnoughtus. Now, we congratulate the members of the herd who made it successfully, successfully, back the watering hole but soon they will have to be on the move again as winter is coming and I'll have to continue migrating to find the right place to nest